ever experienced that sensation? Deja vu, I believe it's called. Well, I have. Or could it be described better as a premonition? I guess it doesn't really matter. If you're worried about the correct use of terminology, a quick look in the dictionary will suffice, but I digress. That line, that very line between reality and imagination, between logic and irrationality, between the present and dreams, that line I crossed. I think. And let me tell you, the limbo where you stand while crossing the line is not very nice. Far from it. You question your sanity, the world around you, your very essence as a person. What does it feel like? I'm afraid I'm not able to describe it with words. I, I don't know. I don't know that infamous phrase. I've been uttering it an awfully lot. It's all I seem to answer when they ask me something, anything, about the accident. What happened? I'm really not sure. Come on, make an effort. Anything would help. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. Were you distracted? No, I was looking at the road. Are you sure? I don't know. They would shake their head and tell me that it was alright, that we would talk later and maybe then I would remember something. But I never did. I kept giving the same answer. I don't know. It disappointed me more than it disappointed them. Oh, my. You're awake? How are you feeling? Are you in pain? Thirsty? Yes, very thirsty. I looked around the white room, trying to recognize my surroundings. It definitely belonged to a hospital. Machines were attached to my wrists, and I could hear the monotone sound of my heart beeping to my right. I was in a hospital. I gasped, suddenly feeling a feeling of deja vu. Why am I here? I asked, not knowing how I had ended up in a hospital room. Oh, dear, you don't remember. Don't worry, that's completely normal. It can't be possible, I interrupted her. I beg your pardon? She asked, confused. This has to be a joke. This can't be happening. Have you remembered the accident? Yes. No. I don't know. I'm not referring to that. I'm not sure I'm understanding you, dear. Care to elaborate? Should I? Would she think I'm crazy? Maybe it's a side effect of but it's all the same. It can't be. It can't be possible. Can you bring me water, please? I answered, trying to deviate her attention from the question. Of course. I visibly flinched when the sunlight hit me in the face. Is the light bothering you? I will close the blinds. Yes, thank you. My head was pounding. My throat was dry. I opened my eyes with difficulty. Oh, my. You're awake? How are you feeling? Are you in pain? Thirsty? Yes. Very thirsty. I looked around the white room, trying to recognize my surroundings. It definitely belonged to a hospital. Machines were attached to my wrists, and I could hear the monotone sound of my heart beeping to my right. I was in a hospital. I gasped, suddenly feeling a feeling of deja vu. Why am I here? I asked, not knowing how I ended up in a hospital room. Oh, dear, you don't remember anything, do you? Don't worry, that's completely normal. It can't be possible, I interrupted her. I beg your pardon? She asked, confused. This has to be a joke. This can't be happening. Have you remembered the accident? Yes. No. I don't know. I'm not referring to that. I'm not sure I understand you, dear. Care to elaborate? Should I? Would she think I'm crazy? Maybe it's a side effect of the accident, but it's all the same. It can't be. It, it can't be possible. Can you bring me water, please? I answered, trying to deviate her attention from the question. Of course. I visibly flinched when sunlight suddenly hit my face. Is the light bothering you? I will close the blinds. No. Leave them open. Hmm. 
Nope